What's up, everybody? And this is your boy, Retro Rogue. I am back. And you know what time it is? It is time for some more Arube. That's right, we are breaking into Rube. Rube. We're breaking into some more Ruby Volume 5, man. This is episode two and three. We're going to break into that right now. I'm so excited. Episode one was hype. Got me ready to just dive deeper into this whole thing. So let's, you know, let's not even bullshit around. Let's hop into right. Let's hop into both of them right now. Let's just get into it. See what's going on, guys. Here we go. Ruby, volume five, episodes two and three. Let's take that. Yo, old line heart. Are we ready? Uh... Screw this guy. Oh, man, he very much is the cowardly lion, isn't he? Yeah. After you. Your grace. Are you there? Hello, Leonardo. Do you have something to report? Of course, ma'am. I would not waste your time if not. I'm still just so fascinated by this creature. Uh, Cinder, dear, are, are we coming through? Can you see us clearly? Well, as clearly as you can. Shut up. Oh, goody. You've recovered. Your report. What is it? I've... I've found the Spring Maiden. Is that so? Well done, Arthur. Had I known how useful you'd be in expediting this process, I would have sent you long, long ago. As much as I'd love to take credit, ma'am, I can't say that either of us have to thank for this development. I guess you could say a little birdie told us. Explain. You see, ma'am, Crow Bronwyn arrived at Haven Academy earlier today. He believes Spring has taken residence with his sister's tribe. Is the girl with him? Yes, Miss Rose was in attendance. And you know of the tribe's location? Yes, ma'am. But you have to hurry. Crow is already at odds with my... Leonardo? Do you remember the first time we met? I remember. I remember your fear. But since that day, you've been extraordinarily brave. I won't forget all that you've done for me. Do not forget everything I can do to you. Oh, shit. Cinder, you and your team will meet with Dr. Watts and together convince Raven <clears throat> Bronwyn that the survival of her people depends on her cooperation. Once you have Spring under control, escort her to the Relic and contact Hazel. The White Fang was promised the destruction of Haven, and they'll have it once we have what we need. Understood. Not you, Arthur. Tyrion's in need of a new tale. What happened to his old one? Guess. The silver-eyed girl? Mm. It will be done. Good. Seems Crow was right. Uh. The students aren't pushovers. You're free to speak your mind. I don't understand. Working with bandits? Keeping Ruby alive? What's the point? We're strong enough to take what we want by force. 
Never underestimate the usefulness of others. Take Leonardo. He was one of Ozpin's most trusted, and yet now... <laughs> you will have the power I promised you. This chick is, like, just running shit, dude. Like, she's, like, three, four steps ahead of Austin. Then bro. you must take care to protect yours. There's only so much I can do to aid you. And Cinder, before you go, inform Tyrion that I wish to have a word with him. Uh oh. Uh oh. He is football. It's a long flight. <clears throat> Just floating city, floating islands. That's dope. So gravity works all kinds of wonky here. Where are we? Nowhere good. Passing by some of Lake Matsu's floating islands. The gravity dust that forms in these things has given us a little turbulence. Nothing I can't handle, but the islands sometimes hide some okay. nasty rim. Like magnetite. I'm just betting on our friends in distress, keeping them preoccupied. Kidding me? By the gods, we lost Percy. Help! Man, y'all getting forced into the fight, whether you like it or not. Oh shit! The Hornet grill? We're hooked. We're no. Lancers. Okay. Never heard of those. Those are new on me. What we should have done in the first place. You're carrying dust, right? Officially, no. Actually, yes. yes. Then when I tell you, open the rear door. <sighs> Better make it quick. Oh, so he's smuggling. This nigga smuggling. He ain't, he, he, that's why he was willing to do what he needed to do with him for her. Kid, we're coming in close. Ready! That's your, that's your, that's, that's what, you, that's what you're good at, girl. Uh, you, you know what elements are yours. What was that? We're hooked. Lancer, I get it now. Woo! I was like, yeah! I got an idea. Hold on. Literally. Oh! Nice. <laughs> nice flying. Can you find a pair of islands we can fit between? Kid, you are reading my mind. Oh, 
Nice! So those islands tend to just yeah, kind of crash together and shit. We are in the no clear. <laughs> well, at least you know why people ain't ever tried to develop land on them. Who knows when another island is just gonna smash into the one you're on. Ah, come a on! Queen Lancer. What? A Queen Lancer? Well, fuck me running. Jaggering it from the inside of the ship. Let's go. That was nice. Woo! Yeah, man. going to repeat myself, so I want you to listen when I tell you that the White Fang will not attack Haven Academy. Hi, Leader Khan, I am begging you. You should beg for forgiveness and nothing else. The assault you led on Beacon was not the great victory you clearly think it was, and you should be grateful your punishment wasn't more severe. You are a symbol for many in our organization, but that doesn't make you infallible. I was merely trying to follow your example, High Leader. And what example might that be? Strength. Strength and unwavering conviction. The humans have seen that strength now. I was one of the first to suggest violence where violence was necessary. Peace bred complacency. Line. The loss of the CCT has brought global communication to a crawl, and the White Fang is more of a target now than ever before. You have justified humanity's campaign against us, and for what? Empty promises from a group of humans? Humans we still know nothing about, and come and go as they please. These are not examples of strength, Adam. They Facts. are examples of your talents being diminished by short-sightedness. If you want to know more about the humans, then why not talk to one of them yourself? Hazel. This guy. Took you long enough. What is this? Apologies. 
I don't aim to cause any trouble. You've brought a human to this location? You should hear what he has to say. This is grounds for execution! Ma'am, please. Nobody needs to die today. I'm just asking for a moment of your time. The longer you stay here, the less of a chance you have of leaving alive. I'll take those chances, if you don't mind. You don't like me. You have no reason to like me. But you don't have to like me to get the results you want. I'm starting to doubt either of you fully comprehend what it is that I want. I want humanity to fear the Faunus, to know that we demand respect. I do not want to start a war with the humans that we cannot win. That's where you're wrong. We can win a war against the humans. Not only because we have the support of Hazel's master, but because the Faunus are the dominant species of this planet. We're better than humans. We have everything humans have and more. Humans shouldn't just fear the Faunus. They should serve the Faunus. I've had enough of this conversation for tonight. Guards, take them away. I said take them away. I will admit, Sienna, you were right about my popularity. My followers in Vale already see me as the true High Leader, and many here in Mistral feel the same. What are you doing? What's right for the Faunus? From this day forward, I will be the one to lead the White Fang. If you think I'll just step aside and follow beneath you, you're wrong. <laughs> I know. Oh, shit. Thank you, Sienna. You were there when our people needed you, but they need me now. I'm sorry you couldn't see this through to the end. Give our former leader a proper burial. All who were here tonight will claim that Sienna was murdered by a human huntsman. Sienna Khan will become a martyr for our cause. Her final act as High Leader. Wow. Even Hazel was like, this was not the plan. When were you planning on telling me about that? This was my business, not yours. It's our business now. And I don't appreciate you withholding things like that. Your master was concerned with Sienna's willingness to cooperate. Now she doesn't have to be. Nobody needed to die today. I... disagree. Let this hazel off. Help! Please! What do you think? I think... We just hit the jackpot. Oh, shit. Well, well, shit. 
Shit fired to the pops and the poo poos. Oh no. Okay, 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 all right. Woo! Hot damn, that was, that was okay. Oh shit, man. Man, okay. Woo! So, so our girl's in a little bit trouble. God dang it. A girl has just a, just a tad bit of a mind, just a, just a little bit. How is this going to affect Yang and Weiss's relationship, I wonder? Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, this is just Adam killing people and just he, these, this show, man. Every time I think I've got a kind of handle on what's going on, but they it's interesting though because my my boy Hazel looked like he wasn't prepared for that. He looked like he like this. What the hell, this motherfucker? You 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 got to let a motherfucker know you about to do some crazy shit, dog. I mean, and I feel like he told old girl no one had to die. I feel like dude, like that pissed Hazel off. He's like no one had to die. I told her no one had to die. Then you kill anyway, nigga. What the? But all right, though, okay, I'm I'm here for it, man. I'm here for it. Let's just let's episode three. Let's 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 get into it. Let's just 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 hop into it. We are hitting play. We are gonna get into it right now. Here we go. Crazy. Uh-uh. Are you ready? Yes. It won't be easy for the people to hear, but the truth often isn't. I know they'll do the right thing. They really not gonna. <clears throat> you got this. Thank you all for assembling here. I wanted to take time to address some of the rumors that have been circulating around our island. I believe that it is important for the people of this territory to understand the truth. No matter how you feel about the human race, I think we can all agree that the event now known as the Fall of Beacon was a tragedy. A tragedy that will set both man and Faunus kind back. While the main aggressor is still unknown, we do have official confirmation that Adam Taurus, the leader of a powerful splinter group working inside the White Fang, was partially responsible for these attacks. His actions not only tarnished the reputation of an organization originally created to bring peace and equality to all, but to our entire race. With each day that this man remains unpunished, it becomes increasingly difficult to condemn those that look down upon us. Recently, a spy from this same splinter group set their sights on this very home. My own daughter, Blake, and her friend did their very best to apprehend this individual. While they were unsuccessful after being physically assaulted and seriously injured, they were successful in obtaining the assailant's scroll. With this, we have been able to ascertain that Adam Taurus has plans to overthrow the current leader of the White Fang, Sienna Khan, and take over the reins himself. His radical plans do not stop there. The documents on this scroll proclaim his next target to be Haven Academy and its attached CCT tower. Their plan is to strike on the last full moon before the beginning of the fall semester, roughly two months from today. 
I have sent my swiftest messenger to the government of Mistral. But I believe we have a greater responsibility. My relationship with the White Fang has been an interesting one. Years ago, I led the organization to oh. help try and create a world where I and every Faunus who wish clear to me that the people both in and out of the White Fang wanted faster results. So I stepped down, and Sienna Khan was appointed as my successor. It's true that I do not fully condone many of her methods. What I do condone is what Sienna fights for. The idea that the Faunus and humans are, and should be, equal. Adam Taurus does not seem to have that goal. What he has done benefits no one but himself. I think it's time that the Faunus showed the world that we are equals. Time that we snuff out this splinter group and restore the White Fang to what it once was. To do this, I think the answer is clear. We must go to Haven and protect it at all costs! <clears throat> Before we proceed any further, I'd like to invite my daughter to come and share her story. Not only as a former member of the White Fang, but also as a survivor of the Fall of Freedom. You can do this. Traitors! Ilya. Cowards. After everything the humans have done to us, everything they've put us through, you're asking us to help them? I know we haven't been treated fairly. Where was their help when the dust companies treated our people like slaves? Where was their help when kingdoms hunted Faunus just for being who they are? Where was my help when my parents were killed in a dust mine? Where? Young lady, progress takes patience and cooperation. The Belladonnas are the worst kind of Faunus. They want us to work with the same people that are trying to hold us down. If you truly, truly want to help your people, now is the time to support Adam. Not the Belladonnas. He will bring about the future that you deserve. And if you are unwilling to fight, know that the White Fang will do it for you! Shut up! After her! Did he age backwards? He's possessed! Or reincarnated. Oh, isn't it weird? No lie, jumping. It is very weird, yes. Okay, <sighs> okay. Let's all just take a second and remember that this is very overwhelming for everyone. Yeah, I'm still a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, sorry. It's just, I've never really met huntsmen and huntresses before. Well, uh, we've never met a person with two souls, so first time's all around. We're even. <laughs> <clears throat> Not to break up the whole getting to know you game, but we need to have a talk. Mind showing us your little parlor trick, kid? Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, okay. Just so you know, I'll still be here. It is so very good to see you again, students. Wait. What just happened? Professor... Ospin? Correct. And though I may be the one speaking, Oscar is still present mentally. 
He's merely handed over the controls, so to speak. Just don't make us do anything embarrassing. I'm afraid this all must be very perplexing. And alarming, <laughs> yep. and bizarre, yep. and just really kind of hard to believe overall. <laughs> Spirit animal, told you. It's good to see you children still have your sense of humor. <clears throat> I know you've all been through tremendous hardship already. I'm sorry. I mean, it's not your fault. It's, it's all my fault. fault. Yeah, I told you once that I made more mistakes than any man, woman, and child on this planet. And I wasn't exaggerating. I'm cursed. For thousands of years, I have walked the surface of Remnant. I knew it! Dying and reincarnating in the body of a like-minded soul. He's the the damn Professor wizard. Ospin you all met was not my first form. And clearly wasn't my last. It's an extraordinarily strenuous process on everyone involved. So who, what are you? I am the combination of countless men who have spent their lives trying to protect the people of Remnant. With every rebirth, my soul is eventually merged with another. And I am changed, but my, my memories, memories stay with me. This curse was bestowed upon me by the gods, because I failed to stop Salem in the past. So Salem owed his dirt stop too. Now. And how do we do that? We start by ensuring the safety of the relic of knowledge. <laughs> well, well, well. <coughs> Look who's awake. <laughs> what? What's going on? Where am I? You know, I never thought I'd see a Schnee in this camp. Oh, that's old girl from, from the intro. Try to volume five uh, opening. Oh, bitch. What do you want? Straight to the point. I like it. We don't normally deal in trafficking people. Not really worth our time. But once we realized we had a schnee, that changed. You're going to ransom me back to my father. Is that it? It's a shame you're a schnee. You'd probably do quite well around here. I would never sink to your level. Just keep quiet and cooperate and you'll be back in your mansion before you know it. I don't want to go back there. Don't make this complicated. Oh, uh, she's gonna make it so hard. What's yeah. going to make this complicated is when my sister finds out that I didn't make it to Mistral. You know my sister, don't you? Winter Schnee? Special operative of the Atlas military. She's in Mistral now, and when she hears I'm missing, it won't take her long to find me. And you. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's more funny or sad, but you're clearly out of the loop. Your sister? isn't in Mistral anymore. No Atlas personnel are in Mistral anymore. General Ironwood closed the borders and recalled all of his little troops and tin cans. No one is coming to rescue you. <laughs> this is perfect! We were stuck at a dead end, but now we can just Shit. take little cute boy Ospin to Lionheart and have him six things straight. Please don't call me that. Yeah, we're not sure that's the best idea. Uh. Hmm. 
but I thought the headmasters all took their orders from you. That was the intention. Four lieutenants I can trust, especially during times of reincarnation. But Crow told me about your meeting with Leonardo. He isn't just behaving irrationally. He's disobeying specific instructions I had left him. Something's wrong. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I don't want to rule out any possibilities either. No one outside of this room knows that I have paired with Oscar, and I think it may be best to keep it that way. Play things close to the chest until we got a better hand. Precisely. Now, we have two steps ahead of us. The first is enlisting the aid of more huntsmen. But the Mistral Council doesn't own every huntsman in the kingdom. <laughs> After that, we can move on to step two. What's step two? Getting you four into fighting shape. But uh, we already know how to fight. You can only fight so long as you have Crescent Rose, but you're still lacking in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Well, right. uh, yeah. Thanks. Mr. Ark, I'm glad to hear you've improved, but sorry to say you've yet to unlock your semblance. All of you still have a ways to go before you're ready to pose any real threat against Salem and her forces. And though Oscar can give me temporary control, he'll need to strengthen his body and his aura. Wait, what? He'll inherit my muscle memory in time, but practice will expedite the process. But if Crow's out looking for Huntsman, then who's going to teach us? Before classes resume at Haven. If Salem were to plan an attack, it would make sense that it occur prior to students' return. It's not much time, but it's better than nothing. Just don't expect me to go easy on you. Huh? <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. What are you doing, girl? You know what you need to do. That's right. You know what you need to do. Yeah, man. That's right. That's right. I know she know what's up. She, man, I'm sitting there like, I'm, I'm, this kid got to realize she's strong, man. Regular people, them. She, she got skills. She needs to learn how to use them. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> this one is definitely a slower burn, but I'm, all, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. I see, I see where they're taking it, man. It seems like, truthfully, this, these two episodes, it seems like our entire team, they are just surrounded by the enemy in every situation. And some of them know it, some of them don't. <laughs> but uh, yeah, great episode. Great episode. Uh, looking forward to four and five. So uh, I'll hop into that and I will see you guys in a couple of days. Remember, it's the age of the geek. We rule the world. Thanks. It's crazy.